Does your weather stripping look like this? Do you know how much that's costing you every year? I'm Home DIY Dan, and we're gonna fix that weather stripping right now to keep that cold air in the house. Let's transform our homes and our lives together. So the first step here is to remove the old weather strip. You're gonna to wanna to use a pair of pliers and just grab onto the end, peel it back a bit so you can get a firm grip on the plastic piece that's going behind the door jam. Just grab onto that, with the pliers, and just kind of pull back and pull away from the door jam. So you're just gonna keep pulling back until you get all the weather stripping off of one side. Then go through and go around the top and the other side to get those off as well. Now when you go to install the new weather stripping, you're gonna take that plastic piece that you pulled out of the old one, and you're gonna put that into the gap that was left by the old weather stripping. You should be able to just firmly push it in and it should stick. It might need some help so you can give it an assist with a block or a hammer if it's really not wanting to go in. Repeat this process for the other side of the door as well. Line up the top edge with the top of the last piece of weather stripping you put on and then just continue to push it in along the top. Now with the top piece, you are going to have to cut it because it's not the same length as the sides. So just line it up and cut it where you think it needs to be cut. Then double check and make sure that it fits well. The bottom portion of the weather stripping is going to be very similar to how we cut the top. Just line it up with the bottom of the door threshold and cut it where it needs to be cut. Double check the fit and go ahead and push it in. If you guys like projects like this, hit that subscribe button to see all the new content we have coming out. Let's see how this turned out.